It's been about six months since the state enacted sweeping changes to New Mexico's liquor laws. As News 13's Brittany Bade reports, the changes are having a big impact on businesses in one New Mexico town that usually has to compete with a bordering state. Wines restrict serving cocktails. It makes a big difference. Having a full liquor license was a luxury few small businesses could afford. Especially in a small community like ours, uh, having to come up with you know anywhere between three to you know, 300 to 500 thousand dollars just for a liquor license. It was almost uh, uh, again unreal. Maurice Lemus owns Casa Lemus Inn and Restaurant in Raton. There was very very few facilities that only even offer beer and wine before. In a town fueled by I-25 travelers from Texas and Arizona. Lima says drivers looking to unwind for the night would often opt to drive another 20 miles to Trinidad, Colorado, where there were more places to grab a drink. By the time Trinidad is 100% full on all of their hotels, Raton may still only be somewhere 60, 70% full. They always get sold out before we do. But that all started to change in July when new liquor law changes went into effect, in part lowering the price for a full liquor license from around $300,000 to about $10,000. He was the first New Mexican to receive a new liquor license under the long overdue reform <clears throat> we enacted. Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham mentioned Lemus by name in her State of the State address, using his business as an example of how the change is helping business owners across New Mexico. Having this available now to our community, we'll go ahead and again, you know, serve those people that are traveling through. Lima says the vast majority of his customers now opt for a cocktail with their meals. Two out of four uh, or three out of four people that sit at a table will actually have a cocktail. And he, along with other business owners in Raton, are happy they can afford to serve customers what they're looking for. And I think that the community as a whole will benefit by far even more. Brittany Bade, KRQE News 13. Lima says businesses in Raton are hoping for a busy summer tourist season following two slow years due to the pandemic.